My name is Flo Rogers. I'm the general manager of Nevada Public Radio and we're here in Las Vegas, Nevada and Nevada Public Radio op operates six stations. Uh, two of them come right out of this station, all news, all classical, and then we have a system of repeater, net, uh, repeater stations that take that uh, programming to 75% of the people in Nevada have access to Nevada Public Radio signals and then also in California, Utah and Arizona. More than 75% of this state is owned by the federal government. Area 51, Nellis Air Force Base, Creech, a lot, of, um, a lot of the land, the BLM land that is owned by the Bureau of Land Management for ranching, for forestry. There's a big chunk of this state that isn't controlled on a day-to-day -day basis by the people who live here and do business here and raise their families here. And so the Northern Nevada character is very different than the Southern Nevada character. You've got Northern Nevada is, is rural, mining, ranching, and a very strong connection to Northern California. Predominantly tourism, construction um, and you know the hospitality industry is what drives the engine of southern nevada and so it's a it's a metropolitan versus rural and in the middle you have all of this blm and federally owned federally controlled land i've worked in public radio since 1991 and I, be I began working in public radio after I had worked in commercial radio. My grand plan was originally to be um, a college professor and when I came here to the United States and was doing my master's program, I got involved in college radio and really, really, really liked it and really liked the idea of being a, 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 you know, a rock DJ on, on, a, on a big rock station. Uh, and so I did that for a while in England and then I came back and I was doing that in, um, in San Diego and I really thought that my life was going to take me as a career of being a rock DJ and then I became involved in public radio and realized that ah something actually that means something I like that I think if 10 years ago somebody had said to me oh you know you'd really enjoy living in Las Vegas I'd say mm, I went to Vegas on vacation it was cool for a couple of days you know it was fun so I saw it as a tremendous professional opportunity I had no idea I would really care about this community The thing that I like about public radio is the same, I think, that all of our listeners like about public radio. This is radio that has substantial content that treats you uh, as somebody with a brain and somebody who's compassionate and somebody who has an interest in the world. We had an example just recently that I think is really um, emblematic of why people like public radio, the kind of people that like public radio and what they like about it. A sort of a self-improvement coach uh, came to me and said, um, I, I think I'd like to do a program on public radio. And we, we get those kinds of quests all the time. This person came to me and said, you know, here's the kind of program that I would like to do. I would like to help people, you know, be, be you know, with their emotional development. You know, a typical kind of, you know, like uh, Oprah Winfrey show, but on radio. And I said, do you know what the difference between our listeners, do you know why that wouldn't fly for our listeners? And the answer is our listeners are more interested in making the world a better place. Our listeners are about making, engaging with the world on a local level, on a national level, and on an international level. The very license that we have is predicated on the mission of serving this community. So that's, that's the reason we exist, to serve this community. And how we do that is we uh, put together a schedule of news and information programming on our news channel, classical music on the classical side. But within that, we have a major commitment, 10 hours a week, to produce high quality uh, local public affairs programming. And um, we've been very successful at doing that. And the mandate of that program is to reflect this community, reflect who we are, what it means to live here, the challenges we face. Local programming that makes sense for public radio engages the community with who they are and what is their sense of community. When you start talking about how do we serve the community, um, this is something that that is now morphed into something really big. We went through a process where we wanted to profile nonprofits on the air and we, we actually started having some community conversations with those people and then wham we went 
oh, we're really doing this all wrong. We can really have a much better impact. And it was an interesting trajectory where we said, oh, we're the radio station. We're gonna, we're gonna help you, nonprofit, by putting like these little profiles of you on the air. And what's, what it's turned into is something that's very different, which is the nonprofit saying, it's not about our name check. It's about getting people to do something. It doesn't matter if they do it with us or somebody else. And we went, ooh, we can help with that too. There are, there are a number of organizations that maintain sort of uh, databases of, um, you know, volunteer, you know, that, that's their job to sort of match volunteers with opportunities. But we think there's a role for us to just say, all right, you, you don't have $50,000 worth of, of, of a media spend to go buy airtime. Let's give it to you. Let's do it. Let's do it together and, 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 and create something. We haven't done that yet. We want to do it this spring. Uh, so and we're realizing how powerful and how precious it is and what a, a rare opportunity that we have as public broadcasters to be friends to our communities and, and be part of civic engagement and build community. In some surveys, Nevada, and it may just be Las Vegas, is the single worst per capita for volunteerism. Now, there are a lot of people who say that's a function of the way it's counted, but whichever way you slice it, we're not very good. And so we know that we have 150, 160,000 people listening to the stations of Nevada Public Radio every week. And we're thinking, all right, we get on the air quite frequently and say, give money. I think it's about time we used our airtime to say, give time. Give your time to this community. I think we'll look back at this time and say that this is the time when we've realized that if we don't take care of those that are less able to care for themselves, this is the time we've got to do it. And we didn't save for a rainy day as a community. We mortgaged ourselves to the hilt. Our companies mortgaged themselves to the hilt. And we are in a difficult, difficult spot. And it may take two or three years to get out of it, but um, I think we're going to come out as a better community. I really, really, really do. I think what we do in public radio as telling those stories, being that kind of candid friend to the community, I love that expression, we are a candid friend. And for us to be able to catalyze a few other things such as volunteerism along the way, I think we've got a role to play in that.